Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalren and in today's video I got a few more things we're gonna take a look at before we get to the big topic of more allied races that could be possibly added in the game. Let's first talk a bit about class updates, the Chinese calendar, as well as more models to take a look at for BFA. So there are a lot of stuff that have been coming out and Blizzard is already doing a lot of balancing for the game, which is cool. Uh, I was kind of hoping maybe there will be more balancing for the expansion now, but I guess Legion is kind of winding down. So if you do have any like thoughts like, oh, this should change, oh, that should change, we might as well just save it all for BFA because BFA is basically around the corner, uh, especially as more people get into the beta, a lot more people will be able to get exposure and maybe we'll be able to get it faster because Blizzard seem to have done such a great job with Legion getting regular uh, and as many patches and updates as they have done might get BFA earlier is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's take a look at some of these changes. So first of all, Hunter's Mark is a level 60 marksman talent. We finally figure out what the hell Hunter's Mark is. It's not an ability that's an actual thing. I did a video where I looked at all class abilities and class talents. What's new? And I just couldn't find Hunter's Mark anywhere. And there's abilities, there's talents that work off of Hunter's Mark. So this is weird. So let's take a look at what it does. You have Streamline, which rapid fire lasts an additional two seconds. Steady Focus, where Steady Shot uh, reduces the... Uh, cast time of the next steady shot stacking up to four times which is one second of hunter's mark 40 yard range 40 second cooldown apply hunter's mark to the target when damaged by aim shot and for an additional five seconds afterwards all the damaging shots will cause the target to instantly take range attack power additional to physical damage so i guess enemies take more damage after getting hit by aim shot for five seconds so it's like aim shot pump as much damage as you can aim shot pump as much damage as you can i guess but that makes no sense it is almost sounds like a normal hunter ability, but it's a talent because if you take a look at there is called a talent rapid killing Extra target each extra target that aim shot hits during bombardment reduces the cooldown of hunters mark Which is a talent. It's a talent that works with another talent Maybe there's more to it and ricochet of rapid fire during bombardment reduces the hunters mark by one second So you have a talent that exclusively works with another talent so if you don't take Hunter's Mark, this is a dead-ass talent. If you take Hunter's Mark, then this is an option. It just doesn't make sense. Rapid killing gotta go, or Hunter's Mark is misplaced. Not supposed to be a talent, supposed to be a part of the class abilities. But that makes no sense. And I think there's actually some other abilities that work with... Hunter's Mark, casting quick shot reduces the cooldown of Hunter's Mark by 2 seconds. And then you have Hunter's Mark. There's two talents that work with Hunter's Mark. It makes no sense. I, 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 I don't understand. This makes no sense. That actually may oh, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. There's so many abilities that are just overlapping with hunters. I'm not even gonna deal with it. Blizzard is just off the rocker in that. Then we got a few talent changes for Demonology Warlock or uh, Destruction Warlock. We have Reverse Entropy. Spells have a chance to grant you haste. I don't know about the random chance, but I guess we all love RNG. Then internal combustion, which is an interesting talent, Casable consumes up to five seconds of Emily's damage over time on your target, instantly dealing that much damage. So that's actually kind of cool. You would immolate and Casbolt, and then immolate would be at consumed faster. That's actually a really cool idea. Overall, I think it's probably the most competitive on the row because they still have Shadowburn. Honestly, Blizzard, uh, I don't want to be the guy criticizing, but Shadowburn was such a good ability as an execute. And it was kind of fun to mess around with it during uh, beginning of Legion where you could just spam it because it would cost a soul shard and would deal more damage than a Chaos Bolt, which was the weirdest thing for PvP, especially for all the Destro Warlocks. I mean, that is just upside down compared to what they were for the longest time. All right, so that was most of the class talents as the other stuff is not as important. Real quick on the, um, there's going to be a Chinese calendar event for the Year of the Dog uh, soon. February 12th through 25th, you'll be able to buy a uh, dog mount for World of Warcraft. And you'll, of course, have Overwatch and other games uh, having various different events for them. So if you're somebody who plays a lot of Blizzard games between 12th and the 25th, go ahead, take advantage of it. We also have a lot of models here to take a look at. We have these dead raptor model. Looks kind of cool. Some kind of shade that's made of nightmares. We got to take a look at what some of the, uh, this guy doesn't look like a good guy either. We get to take a look at, I think, some of the bosses or some of the bad guys. Maybe even, maybe, maybe good guys. I, I doubt it. But the Zandalari Jones, look at how long his tusks are. I like his arm looking like an armadillo skin or something. You know what I mean? Then we get some of the, I hope this is a mog. I hope this is a mog for uh, everybody that will be on Alliance because that looks cool as hell. Just a warrior. I hope this is a mock too. Imagine a rogue. Not quite maybe as thick as this lovely lady. But like imagine a just a couple sizes smaller on your 
role character. Hopefully it's female or male, I guess, whatever works out. Imagine this kind of coat on a rogue, swashbuckler, pistols, grappling hook, everything, saber slashes. Just a pirate. Pirates? I don't know. Oh, this guy looks amazing. Then you got a bunch of condors. Nothing I'm going to say about condors. And then this dude, look at that helm. I love this in Delari stuff. Oh, I also wasn't aware, but Blizzard took my picture from high school and decided to make it into an NPC. Blizzard, if you guys want to use my likeness, please get me into the alpha. I'd love to get into the alpha. If you can use my likeness, please get me into the alpha. I would, I would, I would love it. I'd love it. Then we got some offhands, more staffs, and back to the rapture. All right, so now to the big one. Uh, we got the possibility of Draenor Orc as an allied race speculation. So they basically data mined this map. What does this map look like? Well, let me, let me, let me tell you. It looks like, oh, not beat up around the bush. It looks like Draenor. I mean, look at the, look at this dark patch on the ground. It looks like it goes down, kind of like the pit in Draenor. Look at the square area, almost like a building would fit there. Like a, like a foundry would fit there. I don't know, and then there would be a production line right here, all the coal. And then you have the classic, like the dark, desolate areas. You have the pools with like some elementals probably hanging out. And then it eventually just progresses towards like the the green area. And then there's probably like the the uh, AIDS forest of mushrooms that was red. If anybody played through Jenner, if you never played through Jenner, honestly, you probably are gonna enjoy it. Then you see also a little bit of the um, the horde zone where they start. And then probably down here, you can probably see a little bit of uh, I don't know what this is, but you could probably find uh, like an area where it goes into another Drenner zone. I don't remember a lot about Drenner as I'm making this video. I actually forgot a lot of it, and thank God that I did. It wasn't a good expansion. Anyway, so it's a possibility that Drenner Oryx will be a viable option. I mean, look at this gear. Look at this gear. He doesn't have pants on. The female version doesn't have pants on either. We'll keep this one on. Um, I mean, it looks awesome. Look at that helmet. I like the way it kind of overcompasses with a shadow over female characters, though. I love that. It adds a little bit of a menacing look, and especially as an orc. And, I mean, people are saying that it's probably going to be Draenor orcs. I mean, these guys are cool. They have tattoos, as every other allied race so far. And it's a question of, I guess, if this is what we get on a horde, which is more orcs make horde great again. Thank you. More orcs would be great, and the Draenor orcs, which is something people want to play for a while, I actually think we should be able to play as any kind of orc. There's a lot of orcs with, like, I guess, various skin tones, too. You have the orange orcs, which are mostly adrenal orcs. They can be Frost Wolf or Warsong. Then you have these ashen kind of orcs, like the gray skin. The guys, like, tear off their hand because they were slaves to the ogres and replace it with, like, a weapon, like a sword or something. Those guys would be cool to play. Except, I don't know about how equipped weapons would go about, but that would be still kind of cool. You know, there's so many so many different orc tribes or orc clans that you can play as. And I guess so this will be one of them. That would be cool because orcs have great racials. And it would be cool to see what kind of racials these guys would have. It also kind of raises the question what alliance would play. And we did kind of see the Vulpera, which are the fox people. No guarantee that fox people would be able to be an allied race. There's already there's, there's just a lot of stuff about them on Wowhead. And a lot of customizability stuff on them on the beta or the alpha of BFA from what been able to be data mined. But there's no guarantee that there'll be an allied race. No guarantee. That said, if we do get Draenor Orcs, it could be possible that Volpera could join Alliance. I mean, we'd get the, the manly Orcs and then we'd get the Fox people prancing around as Alliance normally do. It would just fit Alliance, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trash talking Alliance, but you know what? I might end up playing Alliance in the future because Void Elves are slamming right now. Actually slamming. Anyway, guys, this is everything I have so far. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Would you want Drenor Oryx? Would you want Valpera for the Alliance or the Horde? Let me know all that in below. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. Likes allow my videos to reach a wider audience as well as grow my channel. So not only would you guys be helping me out, but letting me know if you enjoyed the video would also be helpful as well. If you guys enjoy this kind of content and want to see more of it, and we want to see two videos a day of it, of BFA updates, patch updates, discussions about the game, WoW Classic, a little bit of discussion, as well as 5511s. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It is 100% free. You guys are more than welcome to do that. And if you guys want to catch the live stream, which today we should be having a US 5v5 1v1 Horde PvP duel, z duels. Um, and if you guys want to participate in those or maybe just watch, go ahead and hit the notification bell down next to the subscription button down below 
Hit the notification bell in order to be caught up on every single video and every single live stream that goes live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see all of you in another video.